Hi there everyone, my name is Preetam Negi and in this video of PTC Creo, we will be talking about frameworks. Now here is a small assembly and I want to create a table for it. For that, uh, you need to go to framework and remember this is only available in assembly mode. Now after you came to framework, first thing you need to have is the sketch. Let's say I want to create a table of, of length 700 mm. So I have created the sketch. So basically what I did, I just uh, took reference of this part and then I created this sketch. So you can also create a sketch like this. Let's say I also want to create a sketch of rib. Here I have created it. So in this way I can create it. Same I'm gonna do here. So this is just for demonstration purpose. So same thing can be done here as well. Now let's start creating framework. So initially we need to click here on create new project. After creating the project, you need to click here on new profile. Now I'm gonna click here. And you can see there are a bunch of standard profile available. For example, rectangular beam, square beam, pipe. In my particular case, I want to go with Bosch profile 10 of size 40 by 40. Because this particular one is uh, modular in nature and this particular profile is available in almost all part of India. So I'm gonna choose this particular one. Now after choosing the profile, I need to click on next. Now here we have a reference method. So we already have created the sketch. So what I need to do is I need to simply select the select the sketch that I have created and here you can see the preview of it. Now also we can see the part is placed at the center but what we want actually it to be placed inside. So we have but uh, we have a lot of manipulative options available here. So I'm going to choose this particular one. So that the part can go inside this plate. Now I need to press repeat and I'm going to repeat it here as well. And similarly, I can repeat this in this flag as well. So here you can see how quickly we are able to create these table legs and framework. Now uh, this was the last leg. Uh, I need to place these extrusion tubes here as well. Therefore again I'm going to click on repeat and this time here. So I will be pressing this one. Repeat. This one. Repeat. And the last. Now, uh, what actually I can do, I in order to provide it further strength, I can add one more reinforcement here. So I'm going to enable the planes. And now uh, what I will do, I will uh, add a plane here. And wherever I want, I can offset it. After I offset this plane, uh, I can create a sketch here, just like we did previously. So this time I am creating sketch from end point to end point, from midpoint to midpoint so that I do not need to flip the profile. Okay, so let me just add these reinforcement as well. Again, I will be going to framework and again, I'll be clicking on profile and then click on next. And again, I will be selecting them. So here we can see. Just one click and we are good to go. Similarly, here I will be adding these ribs and 
click it inside. Right now you don't worry about the joints. Okay, so we believe we have created this profile in just few minutes. Now I'm gonna click on OK. And now we will be working on joints. So here we will be clicking on basic joints. First of all, let's add joint here. Let's say I want to make this one up to full length and I want to subtract this profile. So what I can do, I can select the first profile and then I can choose this one as first and this one as second, as we can see here. So now we can see the part got subtracted. Similarly, again, I can click on repeat and again, this one is my first, this one is my second profile. And you can see how easy it is to create these joints. After I successfully subtracted, the time now come to subtract this longer one as well. This time I'm going to use this particular one, which is join one profile and two profile. And now here we can see. how easily we have created all the joints. Now, in order to cut these ribs, what we can do, actually we can go to advanced joint and we can click here on planar trim. Now, what I will do is I will select the model that we need to trim, which is this one and the reference plane, which again will be this one. Now here you can see we were able to successfully create the type of cut that we want. Now again, we're gonna click on repeat Again, we will be selecting planar trim. Then again, this is the same model. And this time this will be the surface. Same thing we need to repeat here. So in this way, we can create the framework. Now we also need to add some connector. For that, what we can do is we can click here on new connector element. And now from here, we can choose different kind of connector. Let's say we want to use uh, this particular one. So I can, I can select this one. And now from here we can choose the different kind. Let's say I want a T connector. So I can choose this one and this one. Now again, I'm going to click on OK. Now we're going to click on next. And as we can see here in figure, how we're going to select our part. So I will be adding this connector here in these two frames. So I will be selecting this one as my first face and this face as my second face as, as can be seen here. Now after here we can see we are able to successfully place this connector. But I believe I have chosen the connector of size 45. So that's why it's not placed well. But I believe that the concept is clear to you. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and I will see you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.